Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season, <laughs> of season two of Jobless Reincarnation. So, oh, okay, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh. But he did, and he did, because that, he thought that was the best choice. Hmm. Where are they? Hmm? Oh! It's a long story. No, everyone's okay. Oh, I didn't even put my phone up. No, that's okay. That's why I don't care. It's just doing it on my watch, so it's okay. But she see she's already low. Oh God. Mm. That's what we need to talk about. That's the good way of saying it, because I, I can't imagine at her age hearing the words died. We know, but...
practically gone. Just will never get it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Do you want to hang it in the room? Oh, I know that thing. That thing is heavy. Like, mm -mm. We don't know. I think that's a good idea. Go hug her. You haven't seen her in a long time. There you go. Did Roxy also leave? Or, no, she must still be in the house. Yeah, your dad wouldn't want that. I think everyone else, including, you know, lay off over years, had to read that part for the first time. Be like, oh shit, can't talk about this crap. Right?
woman behind you. I'm in love with her. We're going to be in a thruple. You okay with that? Exactly what he means, sweetie. Right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, we get that. But at the same time, she ain't sleep with anybody else. Say it again. Say it again. Oh my god, this child. Praise the child. Oh my god. Well, honey, if you only knew. There's got to be a way that you can fix this. And, and I get it. Your, your sister is just wanting to voice her opinion. Any woman would. Because, you know, not many people are, you know, like, yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, might as well have the pretty cures have a moment right now. At least she's being honest about that. Mm -hmm. 
So in a way, he's always been in love with you. He just didn't realize it up until, you know, a certain amount. Okay. We are missing one, though. We probably ain't seeing her here until next season. And still, she don't care? No, oh, that's respectful. That's so sweet. What the hell are you gonna do and what's the first pop up? Does that also mean Roxy's gonna get pregnant too? Damn I'm sure. <laughs> All three of them gonna be pregnant by the end of this damn series. Oh god. So you treat her right. Oh my god, her eyes are so beautiful. That's cute.
And that's okay, because no one's perfect. That us. Oh, she grew her hair out again. Okay. This season was uh, as much as I liked season one. Season one was really, really good. But this, this really upped the stakes on how, I'd say, deadly um, certain moments were. Especially with having the big thing of Paul dying. Because... I mean, yeah, we saw people in, like, season one die here and there, but, like, when it comes to someone who was in uh, in the family, who is a main character, that's when you kind of look at the show and you'd be like, okay, this is, it's not gotten real. We not bullshitting around anymore. Like, we, if something happens, we killing off people. And that, like, in a weird way, I kind of also feel like that with Demon Slayer, especially with, like, what the heck is possibly about to happen in that next season, a.k.a. the three movies and such, because as an anime only for that series, I'm like, oh, I don't know what the hell about to happen next, but the way this is going, I'm like, yeah, we killing everybody? It seems like we about to kill everybody. So, you know, we, we're looking at a Shibuya Part 2 for Demon Slayer this time, and I'm just over here looking at everyone like, well, you know, when we finish this, who's going to be dead and who's going to be alive? I'm not going to be crying like a sad bitch. A little baby and such. But no, this, like I said, this was really good. I mean, I love the fact, number one, that, like, Rudy and Sylvie finally found each other again, which felt like a whole, what, two, three years gone by? Like, a long-ass time. A long-ass time, yes. Long-ass time. Long-ass time. Bruh, are you freaking kidding me? Um, but I get it. For necessary reasons on why that had to happen. But it just felt so, like... How do I say this? Like, you know how, like, when you are, um... You're talking to one of your friends, whether it's someone you've known, like, since kindergarten, middle school, high school, whatever. And you haven't seen them for, like, the longest time. And then you guys end up, like, meeting up and such. And it feels like nothing has, like, essentially changed. And you could just continue off right where you stopped at and such. That's what it felt like when these two finally got back together. And when he finally realized, like, oh, shit, like, you're Sylvie. Okay, that's the puppy. <laughs> um, you're the one, you know, I've been waiting for and stuff. Now, like, yeah, I get the Roxy thing and, and ish and them falling in love. I'm not really still surprised about it. But, yeah, we're going into sister wife territory. Like, seriously, you just need, what's her face? Edis. And then you're done. <laughs> that's it. That's all he needs, because the, obviously we're going that route. And it would have been nice to see those two meet up in this season, but they're saving it for either... Excuse me, season three, definitely, if not season three, season four by the end of it and such. Because I, I'm still as, you know, their relationship 
ended or paused at a moment, I would love to be a fly on that wall when those two meet up again because he's going to be feeling so many different emotions um, once he sees her. And then plus now having both Sylvie and Roxy um, evolved in this, you know, three-way going almost into a four-way, um, it's not going to be looking good for her when she comes into the mix. I do love the fact that, yes, kids and moms and everyone else, you know, we got that happy moment where, yeah, everyone's all back together again, but still, yeah. It, it just still feels weird that Paul is not here because he's dead, and it's just, like, it makes you now sit and think of, like, all the little motion notions and, like, interactions they would have had if he had survived. But now we'll never get that, which sucks, and it's, I'm a little sad about that. But something kind of tells me going into season three and probably even season four, they will definitely probably have his say you come back to probably do like flashbacks and stuff, which can, can we also talk about this? And, and I still cannot even believe this, even when I tweeted this. You're telling me that Paul Seiyu and the Seiyu for the Master and Demon Slayer were both by the same freaking person. This man, characters that he played, died within, like, what, two weeks of each other? Are y'all kidding me? Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Because when I found that out, like, I was all about, like, looking at my phone, like, what? Are you kidding me? But nah, man, that, that was, like, the biggest, oh my freaking god, Deja, <laughs> for me, because I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I just, I can't. <laughs> but no, seriously, this was a very good season. Despite all the moments, the good, bad, and everything in between with this show, I, I still loved it. I'm still very grateful for the person who did request this series for season one because I fell in love with it very so quickly. And at the same time, I'm still, like, very freaking curious about what the hell, like, season three is going to happen and what's all in store with that because I feel like you can't get any worse in season two. You already killed Paul. Who else y'all killing next season? <laughs> so... Who freaking knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards the entirety of the second season of Jabba's Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys whenever the hell season three comes out. It could be like a year from now, two years from now, possibly. I would say maybe about two years from now, probably. Yes, hopefully I am in my new room by the time season three airs and such because, you know, can't really, like, talk. Well, long story short, eventually I'll be moving. Yeah, so we just don't know when. Like, certain things are going on, but yeah. Um. So besides that, I'll see you guys. Today is, it's almost Thursday, so. um, Happy almost 4th of July for us. Um, I'll see you guys, of course, tomorrow for Suicide Squad and then a couple of other things. Um... Oshi, because even though that started today, you'll see that tomorrow. Um, and then anything else, my other couple of shows for summer anime, and then yeah, anything else in between, because yes, there's a couple of things I need to do, but I'm probably not going to be able to do today, or this week, because things. <sighs> Love it. Yes, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.